Hi, this is Mobile Video Editing. In this episode, we'll take a look at the screen blend mode in LumaFusion using this example. <laughs> blend modes are a new feature added in LumaFusion 2.1, and screen is one of the most commonly used blend modes. When used on a video or an image with a black background, this blend mode will ignore the background and make the subject brighter. The screen blend mode is commonly used for lens flares, light leaks, text and highlights. It is also used to fix underexposed footage. Let's jump into LumaFusion to see the screen blend mode in action. For this example, you'll need three clips. The first clip will serve as a base layer and contains a video or picture of the night sky. If you're using videos, shoot your footage using a tripod. This will ensure that the layers we are about to blend don't wiggle or move around. The next clip contains an image of the moon with a black background. The last clip is a video of a shooting star with lens flares over a black background. Start by dragging the image of the moon to the track above the night sky footage. Adjust the duration of the clip to be the same as the duration of the night sky video on the main track. Edit the image of the moon. Tap on frame and fit if you are not already there, then blending. Here you can see the newly added blend modes. Blend mode is set by default to normal, which means no blend at all. Change the blend mode to screen. As you can see, the black background is gone and the moon looks brighter. If needed, you can apply color corrections and adjustments. Blending is applied after colors and effects, so check how your changes are affecting the blending results. Resize and position the image of the moon as you like. Exit back to the timeline. Notice how nicely some of the clouds appear in front of the moon. Drag the video of the shooting star to the track just above the track containing the moon image. Place the beginning of the clip at about the 2 seconds mark. The duration of the video should be shorter than the night sky clip to allow the shooting star to move across the screen in its entirety. As you did with the clip with the moon image, edit and set the blend mode to screen. Resize and position as needed, then exit back to the timeline. This is how it looks so far. Now let's add some details to make the effect more realistic. Start by simulating a burst of bright light while the star moves across the sky. Cut a portion of the night sky clip from the moment the shooting start is about to enter the screen and until it's halfway through. Using keyframes and the original preset, increase the brightness of the image within the first 15 frames. Maintain the increased brightness for most of the duration of the clip, decreasing the brightness towards the end at the same rate as you increased it. Now add some background noise and a distant sonic boom around a second before the brightness starts decreasing. This is how the end result looks like. So this is it for this episode. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, give it a like and click on the bell so you are notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.